Hi guys, we are going to draw a rhombus with diagonals of measure 4.5 cm and 6 cm. First of all, you have to name your rhombus. I named it best because it's going to be the best rhombus ever. And then you have to name your diagonals also, like D1 and D2, I've kept for them. As you can see, D1 is 4.5 cm and D2 is 6 cm. Now, you have to be careful while you draw your rough figure. It should be like a graphical representation of what you're going to draw. So, if you're going to draw a rhombus in the rough, you don't draw a rectangle. You draw a proper rhombus. So, yeah, guys, this is the uh, what I was saying. Uh, I just knew it. It's the rough diagram. You have to draw. It's like you could small and it can be a little inaccurate. But you have to draw it. It's important for you to know the, like, kind of shape that's going to appear when you draw it. Mm. Now, first you have to draw a line. Now, as you can see, we have taken the odd numbered diagonal first because it will be easier to divide the even number into more parts that can be produced on a scale easily. So, like this you have to take 4.5 with your compass and now take any point on the line and then cut it. Now name this point S and this point T. Keep it as 4.5 centimeter. Now guys, you have to draw a perpendicular bisector. That is by taking more than half of the length of the 4.5 cm that you have taken and then cutting it from both sides. Up, down and also from T. And you have to be exactly sure that you have placed the point on the line. Otherwise, it will be inaccurate. So there you have the perpendicular bisector. Complete. So guys, now you have to take half of D2. That's 6 cm divided by 2. Oh, I made a mistake. That's divided by 2. That equals to 3. On your scale using your compass. And from the middle that the point is intersecting as a perpendicular bisector at the line. Cut 3 cm from above and 3 cm from below. It's if it's exactly if you it's exactly about the line, you can just make it like you can just extend the line so it becomes clear. Now the line it to T. Now take that point and join it to S. S T. Now take this point and join it on this and take this and join it on this. Now this becomes 3 cm and this becomes 3 cm. B E S T now this becomes your diagonal. As you can measure, this is 3 cm, that's to be exact. This is 3 cm as you can see. This is to be exactly 3 cm. And this is 4.5 as you can see. So yeah guys, now you are successful in drawing a rhombus. Thank you.